Tonight, a single mom paid more than a half a million dollars in May for a new construction home in Waimama, where she planned to live with three children and her father, who's a disabled veteran. But multiple construction problems have prevented the family from moving in, and the owner tells I-Team investigator Adam Walzer the builder has yet to pay thousands of dollars of her out-of-pocket expenses. So this is home sweet home. This is the mess. This is what Jessica Perez's new D.R. Horton built home looked like last Friday, nearly three months after she bought it. It didn't look much better on the day she closed. This house should have never closed in this condition. Blue tape shows problems in nearly every room. Lots of tape around here, huh? Yes. Some issues were cosmetic. What's that? I, I'm not seeing that in a <sighs> finished house. Right. These are for the cameras outside. A pipe to an outside faucet protrudes from stucco. But the major issues are inside. X's marked where floors squeak. About 95% of the floors were redone. Since Perez bought the house, walls and ceilings have come down so crews could repair and replace warped and bowed framing, ceiling joists, and trusses. Jessica's son Matt posted videos on YouTube. You can see just the extensiveness of how bad they messed up. Because, I mean, they're not going to give you a brand new house with the ceiling missing. When Jessica asked her realtor to delay the closing, she says he told her that the DR Horton sales rep said that would result in consequences. If she doesn't close today, we're not going to pay her rate lock any further. She's going to have to pay us $250 a day until she closes. And that's if we don't terminate the contract and then she's out her money that she put down on the house. So Perez closed on the $541,000 house and began paying her mortgage and utilities but never moved in. For months, six people in her household have lived in a small apartment. I have a king-size bed and it was me, my daughter, and my son all sleeping in one bed. Paying apartment rent and two utility bills. As you can see, the back of my car is completely full of everything that my family owns. I'm taking it to storage while we try to figure out where we are going to live. Plus storage unit fees for furniture. Perez hired a home inspector in June who found uneven drywall on multiple ceilings and walls. He recommended a structural engineer. She hired an engineer who said it was his opinion that Hurricane Ian delayed the home's rough in, which contributed to the components being exposed to weather for a prolonged period adding it was certainly apparent that the walls, roof trusses, and floor trusses had exposure resulting in some members becoming warped slash bowed. And I kept asking, what are you going to do for me? What, how are you going to make this right? And what they say? We're going to give it back to you the way you should have received it to begin with. It's Adam Walser. I'm an investigative reporter. With we contacted DR Horton by phone and email. A spokesperson responded in a written statement blaming the problems on subcontractors and writing, quote, since learning of Ms. Perez's concerns, we have completed multiple repairs and have been in regular contact with her. We have additional work and testing scheduled in the home, which we anticipate will be completed on a timely basis over the next couple of weeks. They're the biggest builder in America last year, 30 some billion dollars in sales, and you can't get them to pay for your apartment for putting you up in your storage. I asked them for reimbursement and they told me it is not their policy to reimburse. Perez moved from Denver so her father, a disabled veteran who recently suffered a stroke, could be closer to his brother. He's been staying with another relative in Texas during the repairs. And he calls me every day. My daughter, can I come home yet? I want to come home. The money she planned to use to add a walk-in shower to assist him went to pay for an apartment, storage units, and other expenses she says she never should have had to pay. I think with a new build, you're going to have a little bit of that, but it shouldn't be this extensive. Like, this is insane. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Matt McGlashan taking action for you. Meanwhile, we contacted Perez's realtor who encouraged her to close on that home, but he has not yet responded. DR Horton did not say if they plan to reimburse Perez, but said in a statement they encourage any homeowner in the Tampa Bay area with a concern to contact them. Time now for.